Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Well, it is a beautiful morning here at the park. And if you've watched my channel before, you know what that means. Today, we're talking about a brand new cane. This is the See Me Cane, brought to us by a company here in the US. Huge thank you to them for sending out this cane for this video. But what is the See Me Cane and what makes it unique and brand new? For all intents and purposes, looks like a regular rigid cane, and it is indeed a rigid cane. This is not a folding cane. We have the standard golf club grip here, highly reflective white shaft with the red section at the bottom, and then a rolling marshmallow tip at the end. So what makes it new and cool? Well, the hint is actually in the name, the See Me Cane. Still haven't figured it out? Check out this clip of me using it at night. Yes, this is a fully illuminated LED cane. The entire length of the shaft, including the red section, lights up super bright. The LEDs are all internal, so there's nothing hanging off the side or anything like that. As I said, externally, it looks and acts just like a regular white cane. The handle does have some interesting additions. Let's take a closer look at that. So we have two buttons here in line on one side of the handle. The bottom button is the power button and it's a depressing button. Is that how you would say it? That doesn't sound right. It makes it sound sad. Push button. We'll just say it's a push button. On either side of the push button, you have these raised pieces that helps protect the button to keep it from accidentally being pressed while you're holding on to the handle. Right above the power button, you have a vibration button. If the light is turned on and you press this button, the handle and basically the whole cane vibrates. If I turn the power button off and press the button, nothing, no vibration. And this is a key feature. This allows the blind person to know with absolute certainty if their light is turned on or not. No vibration, that means the light is turned off. Press the power button to turn the light on, still no vibration. That means the cane is dead and you need to charge it. And speaking of charging, the charging port is here at the end of the cane. And this is a magnetic charging port, which means it doesn't matter. You don't have to fumble with trying to plug in a plug. All you do is get the tip of the cable close to the end of the cane and the magnet pulls it in and the cane starts to charge. And speaking of the charging, all right, as if having a fully light up LED cane wasn't cool enough, they also give you a light up charging cable. This thing is so cool. I didn't even know it did this until I plugged it in to charge it. The cable has LEDs going down it and as it's actively charging, it almost looks like electricity is going through the cable into the cane. Really, really cool. Battery life for the cane is about two hours of continuous use. And that might sound like it's not very much, but when that translates to real world use, you're looking at a couple days. In fact, I got the cane on a Monday. I went to a conference on that Wednesday, and this was the only cane I took. So I used it traveling through the airport, used it at the conference every single day at night, demonstrated it to a ton of people. So that's turning it on, turning it off, using the vibration, basically using it way more than anybody normally would. I was at that conference for a total of four days and I only needed to charge the cane once for about half an hour just to top it off. And speaking of that conference, I wanted to take the cane not only to fully put it through its paces so I could give it a really good evaluation, but I also knew that there were gonna be a ton of professionals at the conference, including orientation and mobility specialists. And I wanted to get their opinions. They're the experts. They're the ones that are gonna know whether this is a good cane or not. And Across the board, everybody loved the cane, probably because it's so cool. I mean, it lights up. But I didn't hear any negative comments about the cane just in general being used as a standard mobility cane. I will say that some people thought it was heavy. Some people said it wasn't heavy. So that's clearly gonna be a personal preference. 
But like I said, nobody had really any negative comments about the cane, which is really good. Also at the conference, I had the opportunity to learn how helpful this is in a wide variety of situations. Number one, as I said, traveling through airports. Your standard white cane is usually good enough for crowds, people paying attention. They're gonna get out of the way. In an airport though, with heavy crowds, nobody's paying attention. I often find that the cane isn't good enough. You really have to be careful. But traveling with the see me cane in those situations, I just turned on the light, made myself super visible and had no problems at all. It was pretty awesome. Then there's always those situations. Uh, for me, it's like hotel rooms, elevators, where there just isn't enough light. They don't give me enough light. So in those situations, it's really difficult. But I found myself reaching for the see me cane, especially in the elevator. I got in the elevator turned it on and it just lit up that elevator and I was able to find my buttons without any problems. It was really, really cool. Although the main goal, the main purpose of the See Me Cane is for safety, to help the visually impaired person be more visible in low light situations, to make them more safe. That's not its only use. But speaking about the origin of the cane, I wanted to introduce you guys to Kelvin Crosby. He's the gentleman who created the See Me Cane and his story and the story behind why he created it is incredibly powerful. I live with Usher syndrome type two. If you don't know what Usher syndrome is, uh, it's the hearing loss and a vision loss. And I was diagnosed with it when I was 13 years old. Um, I was born hard of hearing. And so as I progressed through life, I lost all my peripheral vision when I was 19, giving up my driver's license. And then when I was 28, I lost the clarity in my left eye. And then just about three years ago, I lost the clarity in my right. I saw the need that one of every three blind individuals is estimated to be hit by a car. The first time I got hit was dramatic. I was in New York. I was going to school. And it was it was a challenge to get that independence back that I needed and to be willing to cross the street again. Mm -hmm. And then literally three weeks later, I got a little too confident and I get hit again. That sent me down into a spiral. And I, I was able to get out, but it took me a little bit. And it wasn't easy. We, when challenges like this happen, it really hurts. It hurts not just physically, it hurts emotionally and psychologically. Because then are you questioning what you're hearing? Are you questioning in how you're going to deal with the next street coffee? I see a need and I'm going to go fix it. I'm just that fix it guy where I'm going to solve your problem. It's the seeming king. The lighted blind cane allowing you to see me travel anywhere I want to go and safely. And you can see it from 100 yards away. If you're a fan of a certain old uh, movie <laughs> from the 70s, you, you might like it. Yeah. Well, it is so important that we don't forget that this is a tool, not yeah. a toy. If you guys would like to see the rest of that interview, check out my Working Blind series. I'll have a link in the video description. All right, guys, we're back in the studio. Uh, it's actually been a couple days since I was out at the park, and I've come down with something since then, so I probably sound a little strange, but no worries. Now we're gonna talk about size, weight, and availability. So as far as size or cane length, currently the maximum is 56 inches. Now Kelvin says that they may do larger sizes at some point in the future, but right now 56 inches, which is the length of this guy here. My personal size, the size you saw me walking around with at the park is 52 inches. So how about weight? Well, the weight on the 56 inch is 13.2 ounces. The 52 inch is about 12.5, 12.8, something like that. I have a standard Ambutec cane here, also with a marshmallow tip. This is slightly smaller, so this is a probably a 55 inch cane. And this one weighs 12.5 ounces. So the Ambutec 55 inch weighs about the same as the 52 inch Simi cane. So the Simi cane is a little bit heavier, but of course it has like a battery in there. There's all kinds of electronics and stuff. So it's gonna be heavier. 
As far as availability, as of the release of this video, the See Me Cane is available for pre-order. Now, I don't know what the final price is gonna be, but if you pre-order the cane through my link, which is listed in the video description, you will get $75 off the cost of the cane. That is huge, $75 off the cost of the cane, only through my link. That's the only way you can get it. After March, the discount will go down. I think it'll be like $25 off. Whatever it is, I will update the link in the video description as that changes in the future. Real quick, I just need to clarify two points. First, the link in the video description is where you go to pre-order the cane, but you actually need to use the promo code BLINDLIFE to get the $75 off. Blind life, two words. That promo code is the only way to get the $75 off. So don't forget to use it. Secondly, the $75 discount is only good through the month of March, 2023. After that, the discount drops to, I believe $25 and continues to go down from there. So if you want to get the full $75 off, you gotta use the promo code blind life and only through the month of March, 2023. Now, final disclaimer about this cane. Something I want to make sure you guys fully understand. This is something that Kelvin and I talk about in our interview, but if you buy this cane, you will instantly become the coolest blind person in the room, okay? <laughs> You'll definitely be extra safe while walking around at night and in low light situations. But along with that, you will get noticed. You will get attention. People will come up to you and say, wow, that's amazing. What is that? Tell me about it. So just say it. You've been warned. <laughs> but that is it, guys. This is the See Me Cane. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, all the information will be listed in the video description down below. If you have any questions for me, please leave those in the comments down below. I'll, I'll do my best to help out. If you found the video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the videos I put out in the future. But that is it, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time. Hey guys.